Hi, Shiloh. Hi, Amy. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So I want to just tell you a little bit about uh, myself and the company. Um, I'm Shiloh Johnson, and I work for EverydayFamily.com. We're a preconception, pregnancy, and parenting website with over 4 million members and also a family business. Um, so today I'm excited to talk to you about, you know, education in the classrooms and getting involved with technology and how, um, how far we've really come. And I wanted to get a little bit of your insight on to, you know, how you got interested in using technology and what made you, you know, start down that path. Okay, that sounds great. So where, where, where was it that, what was it that got you interested um, in the first place in okay. kind of involving technology into the classroom? Well, originally it started really organically. I had a good friend who was moving to Hong Kong with her two sons who had gone to my school. They mm -hmm. were elementary schoolers at the time and her husband. They were moving to Hong Kong the same year that our curriculum was changing to study China. She oh. and I got together to say goodbye and we talked about using video calling to keep in touch. Mm -hmm. And then I said, you know, I just got a smart board in my classroom. I wonder if there's a way for us to have a video call on the smart board in front of the entire class. Yeah. And now, so, what year was this? Was this recently? This was five years ago already. This, oh, is, my, nice. this is my fifth year using Skype. So Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, it worked wonders. The kids were fascinated. They sit in front of the smart board on the rug. And they're really, it's a huge board. They're, they're uh -huh. really involved. The faces of the kids in Hong Kong are movie size. And, uh, <laughs> the kids had, t they take turns going up to the webcam asking great questions. They learn to really ask open-ended questions so they get some interesting answers. And the kids were fascinated that it was nighttime there when it was daytime for us. Just seeing yeah. that is different than me telling them about time differences. So um, one of the girls commented that she couldn't believe there wasn't an actual hard wire connecting my computer going down <laughs> the street, down the, into the ocean. <laughs> so it was really amazing. And we've since placed calls with people all over the world. So it's really been a phenomenal experience. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. They, I was reading here that it looks like uh, Fabian Custu, I, I'm not good with pronunciation, is going to spend 31 days underwater in a marine lab and do some Skyping with students. Exactly. Um, which seems really amazing. I mean, when you think about it, it's like, wow, we're actually going to be able to see what he's seeing down there, and the kids are going to get a different perspective than they've ever had before. I know. I was, you know, we have everybody we've spoken to has been above sea level, so I'm really excited to have this opportunity to speak to Fabian Cousteau because he's, the, he's also the grandson of Jacques Cousteau, and he's trying yeah. to be <laughs> his record by living underwater for 31 days. I mean, that's just, I can't that's imagine. That's amazing. Like I know. Yeah. So, and and you guys are mostly using Skype here, and Skype is available to pretty much anybody. So I know it, you're in public schools, but this could be done with homeschoolers as well. Yeah. I mean, it's a wonderful. There's I've teamed up with Skype, and they have a wonderful resource, Skype in the classroom, and anybody, parents can access it, teachers can access it, homeschool teachers can access it. It's education.skype.com. Education.skype.com. Right and there's seventy sure thousand members right now. So, wow. Yeah. It's a really, That's amazing. It's an easy way to make connections around the world. That's perfect. Yeah. Now, what, so what would be your advice for teachers or stay-at-home moms that are homeschooling their kids um, to, that are looking to bring technology, you know, to their kids and stuff? What would, what would be some advice just to go on there and start there? Is that a good starting place? I think that's a great starting place because it's so easy to use. The site is very easy to maneuver through. And the experts on the other end will be happy to help explain how it works because I'm sure many of them already have experience. And then it can, you know, they'll, parents and teachers will realize all of a sudden one use of technology will lead to another and it's really made a big difference. So I would, I would advise them to go to education.skype.com. Perfect. That's wonderful. You know, I'm really excited about all this. We have had, you know, technology has been around for a while and it's, it's great that we're finally starting to to branch out and use it for more than just the obvious. I definitely agree. It's worked wonders in my classroom, and I know it will in others, too. Well, thank you so much for talking with us, and I'm sure all of our members are going to be excited to hear about this new way of learning, and hopefully we can get more kids involved and get everybody watching and learning about the, the world around us. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks.